Welcome to Not Another White Box, the channel that brings you all that's cool, quirky and unusual in the caravan world. My name is Cameron and we're here at the October 2023 Caravan and Motorhome Show at the NEC. And we're going to take a look in this video at this slightly strange new caravan from Germany called the Knaus Yaseo 340PX. Now, why are we looking at this? It's square, it's white, but it's definitely, definitely cool. And the reason I'm so interested in this caravan is because of the innovation involved in its design. With the Yaseo range, Knaus are trying to push caravan design forward to the next level and really keep in mind what the future requirements are gonna be from a leisure caravan once we move over to electric vehicles in a more prominent way. This caravan is really carrying the torch to lead the charge with, uh, you pardon the pun, <laughs> with what the future of caravans will possibly look like. But unlike a lot of concepts and all electric this and all electric that, the Knaus Yaseo is a caravan that you can actually buy. And usually I always hold the price back till the very end of the video. I'm gonna tell you it first, because bear in mind it's a concept, bear in mind it's new. There's a lot of innovation, a lot of new technology. This caravan you can buy from as little as 22,210 pounds, which is a lot of money to me, it's probably a lot of money to you. But as caravans go, it sits right at the bottom of the ladder of the caravan pricing structure, which makes it even more interesting for the innovation included for the money. Let's take a closer look. So the body shell on the Knaus Yaseo is just 3.4 meters long. So it's tiny, it's really, really compact. And this is something that we're gonna be seeing more of in the future. Caravans need to get lighter and smaller and more aerodynamic to improve the range of the towing vehicle. So Knaus have really had to think hard about how they cram everything that we would expect to find in a caravan into such a comparatively short body shell. But there's a lot of things on this van that you'll find that you won't find on normal caravans. And you'll see straight away here, we've got a large conventional entrance door. And here, this isn't a second entrance door for small people. It is actually the entrance to the garage space, which is actually also the interior of the caravan. So lots of other caravans, including other offerings by Knaus, have a separate garage at the front, um, which is I wouldn't say it's dead space because it's storage space after all, but with this, they've been even smarter and given you direct access in a more accessible way if you're trying to put a bike or something through there to the living space, which obviously when you're towing, doesn't really matter, you can use it. So you'll find there's a door on this side, but if we step around this way, there is also another door on the other side that does exactly the same thing. And at the moment, the sofas are made up into their daytime position, um, but during towing, you can fold them away, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, and then you've got clear access through there to put bikes. They've even fitted charging points for your electric bikes if you put them in the caravan there as well. I just think it's such a clever idea. And again, on such a small space, it's really clever use of design because um, there's a lot more people now who take bikes with them, outdoor equipment and all kinds of things for outdoor pursuits. And Knaus thought, yep, let's combine this in this beautifully small package and make it work. You've even got these little lockers here, which directly access underneath the bed. So again, if you've got your conventional camping equipment, um, awnings, chairs, etc., that can go in there out of the way at the back of the caravan. But we're not done yet. There's still one more locker to look at. Uh, and of course, it has a conventional front locker like you would see on your typical British van. It's got lovely touches such as the opening handle for it is concealed behind this Knaus badge. And then you just lift it up like so. And you've got tons of space in there for storing all kinds of things. But you'll notice there's no gas bottles in there and there's no regulators. That's because this caravan is actually all electric. So we've got electric only heating, got electric only cooking, um, and electric only water heating, which again, we're sort of seeing this trend towards moving towards um, going all electric with caravans as well, simply because there's been so many issues with getting hold of bottled gas in recent years. And of course, gas isn't really uh, a sustainable option going forward for heating and cooking, etc. 
So Knauss are remaining ahead of the curve there and they've gone all electric with the Knauss Yaseo range. I think we should take a closer look at the interior on that note and show how the innovation continues inside. The first thing that you see as soon as you step inside the Knauss Yaseo 340 is the kitchen and it is a small compact space as you would expect to find in a caravan of this size. But that's not to say they've not been quite clever in how it all slots together. Um, and top of the list for me, are marks for innovation, is they've actually used a compressor fridge to fit here, um, which is a lot better than other manufacturers who are going all electric are just using a standard electric fridge. The compressor fridge will actually run from the leisure battery um, and will run perfectly well from your vehicle battery as well. It's a much more expensive fitting, so that's why I'm surprised to find it. Um, and I know it is one of the options on the list which has a significant impact on the price of the van. But this is the kind of technology that we need to see in caravans going forward to reduce power consumption um, and just enable you to be more free to use the caravan off grid. We've got an induction hob here with two rings on it. We've got a small sink here and a lovely black tap. I love the, this is the thing with Canaris, obviously they're a German manufacturer. Everything's high quality, everything is stylish and everything looks modern and sleek. Um, and it's just little things like these that you tend to not find in British caravans that just make this um, a more interesting space. But in terms of clever design, it's got something which I've never seen before on a caravan. And it's a concealed little rack down here, which I guess could be a spice rack or something that just pops up from behind here, which is brilliant. It's so simple um, and just it required a little bit of thought to execute, but it works really well because if you don't need what's in there, you can push it back down and have some extra worktop space if you wish. Brilliant. I just think it's really, really thoughtful little touches like that. Up here we've got just a single locker, um, which I quite like. Again, it's making the kitchen look a little bit more less cluttered and a little bit more simplified and ergonomic rather than having lots of cupboards like the British vans seem to have. There's loads of space up here. It goes right down into the front of the caravan. There's certainly tons of room for plates, cutlery and accoutrements that you would need up there. We've also got some drawers at the lower level that slide all the way out. Knife and fork drawer at the top, and more storage towards the bottom. They're not actually soft shut, which I wasn't really expecting at this price, um, but the upper cupboards are, which again is a nice touch, especially given the cost of the van. Next to the kitchen, we'll find the washroom, and this is one of my favourite bits of the van actually, because it's kind of like a little boutique hotel washroom. It's very, very nicely finished off indeed. Um, I love the black panelling that they use. It sort of looks like contemporary slate. And there's tons of storage in here. Even like above the toilet, there's a little space there to put towels. There's concealed cupboards behind the mirror here at the top. Um, and even down by the sink, we've got these built-in separators uh, where you can put your toothbrush, soaps, etc. Um, and we've finally got the heating vent at the back here because the heating is funneled into the washroom. And on the subject of heating, it uses the Truma electric combi boiler. Um, and you'll see the vents at the caravan, which might fool you into thinking that it uses Alder heating. Knauss, again, forefront of technology. They're taking the influences of Alder heating in how the heat's distributed around the caravan and they're applying it to the blown air system. So you'll find instead of just having five or six round outlets that you'd normally get on a blown air system. The Knaus Yaseo has vents everywhere. There's one behind the kitchen, there's one in the bathroom, there's various ones around the bed, in addition to those standard round outlets to just really distribute the heat evenly and work more efficiently. But in the washroom, back, back to that, it works really well. It's a very small space, I will admit, but it's what you expect in a caravan. We've got a really high quality Dometic toilet um, which is a little bit unusual um, and there is technically space for a shower in here although there isn't actually one fitted on this display model not that I'm too sure you can have a shower in here because it is rather bijou I suppose as you would say if you're an estate agent but again for the size of the van you've got somewhere to brush your teeth mirror to do your hair in and the toilet to use um, and you'll probably use the facilities on site for things such as the shower 
it's in the back end of the Knausi Seo 340PX where things get the most interesting. Now, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you'll know that I love vintage caravans. And one of the things that was really, really popular in the 50s and 60s in Britain and abroad was a tip-up bed. So I'm delighted to see that one has returned here for the Knausi Seo range. But just before we go on to that, there's a couple more things to mention. The seating is modular. So we mentioned before that it's got the locker door access to the outside. These seats, cushions can move out of the way quite easily um, and they reveal storage boxes underneath um, which just slide out of the way like so, so that you can um, have the clear space to get through with your bikes, um, surfboards, etc. And I just love that multifunctional design. I love the fact that instead of having just a perfectly conventional seat base, um, it's got this adaptability. You could even, if you wish, lift the seat bases out and take the box sections outside and use them as stools. But once they're in the caravan, they're not just a flimsy little wooden box that slides backwards and forwards. Of course, they've finished it off properly and they're on nice metal runners. So they beautifully slide in and out as if they were drawers. We also find little touches in here, such as these touch sensitive lights, which can turn blue or white, and you can position them where you wish for when you're reading. And even little things like these really elegant strip lights and the lighting above the cupboards, it's so well finished off and beautifully done. And lighting makes or breaks the space, as anyone who's into interior design will know. So Knaus, again, even at the £22,000 price point, have considered all options when it comes to lighting to make the space brighter, more homely, and just more stylish and contemporary, I guess. And again, one of the things I absolutely love about the van. So the moment of truth, the tip up bed. <laughs> this is the thing that everyone's been waiting for. And it is a fantastic design. Back in the 60s, they used to use like a magazine rack as the leg. This uses the support of the bunks, uh, but unlike 60s versions where you had to take all the cushions and put them on the floor, we just have to move two on this side. Press one button and with one arm, you can pull the bed down very, very easily, like so. And the bed is a really generous size. Um, it's just a little bit under five foot wide um, by about six foot four long. So there's plenty of space in this bed. It's very, very generously sized because that used to be an issue with, with tip up beds and caravans that the beds were very small. Caravans have obviously got round that through clever adjustment of proportions and things. Um, and, and it's perfectly usable and actually really comfortable bed. It's got a lightweight foam mattress on it. So you can tow the van with the bed in the up position. Quite often, if they had a sprung mattress on them, you would have to lower them for towing to just distribute the weight more evenly. But again, Canaris have thought about that and it's got this clever um, pocket memory foam mattress um, that uses a combination of the foam and the bed slats beneath to make it more comfortable to sleep on. You've got space back here to store your bedding. You've got points to charge your phone. You've got heating outlets. You've got extra storage up here which obviously you wouldn't be able to access when the bed's folded away, but you can keep your pillows up there and things like that. So we've got an extra little wardrobe space here as well that you can access next to the bed. But um, when it comes to folding the bed away, you would put the strap on at the bottom and uh, no jokes, please. And the bedding would fold up down here because this section here stays flat. So you would fold the bedding up into a square pile here and then hop off the bed. And again, very easily fold the bed away. It's as simple as that. We've even got a table up here, um, which is on a little strap. that just folds down like so. Uh, and it's a massive table. You could very easily fit four people around this. And then it just very simply folds out of the way. And there's a little storage strap up there, which you can adjust. And it's as easy as that. It's brilliant. It's multifunctional design at its very, very best. And that is one thing that I love about this caravan. Oh. So if I exit the little Hobbit door, which I'm pretty sure isn't really for interior and external access, 
But um, this is where you would load the bikes in and out with the seating folded away. You've got a clear run at the interior of the caravan without having to twist handlebars around a corner like you have to do through most caravan entrance doors. I just can't believe a caravan this small has so much packed into it. And Knaus are uh, continuing to push the envelope with design. And I'm not saying that this is absolutely perfect and this model singularly is the true future of caravanning for everyone. But there's so many ideas here that need to be adopted by more manufacturers to help push caravan design forwards. For that, I really commend Knaus uh, with the Yaseo. It's a little bit boxy for my liking. I'm not 100% sure about their claims that it's 14% more aerodynamic than a conventional caravan. Um, but it's a step in the right direction at least, and they're acknowledging that aerodynamics is just as important when it comes to saving fuel when towing as the actual weight of the caravan is itself. So overall, do I love this caravan? Is it not another white box approved? Of course it is, it's fabulous. We'll pop some links to the website for the Knaus Yaseo range because there are larger models available, not in Britain at the moment, but I assume they will be coming um, at some point in the future. So I'll pop a link to that in the description below. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and do check out Not Another White Box on all forms of social media and also be sure to subscribe to the channel because we've got plenty more content like this coming in the next few months. So thank you very much for watching and see you all again soon. Because you may have noticed as we're looking around, um, there's not a lot of space for clothes. That's wrong with the wardrobe there. <laughs>